M0FXP, welcome to my channel, just out here in the garden. We've got a couple of long wires up. I'll just show you where I connect them. So one is an LW20DX and it goes all the way there. The 20 meter with nine to one ballon. You can't really see it very well. This one is a homemade one, 49 to one ballon, 66 foot length of wire. And it literally just chucks across there. So look, they're not even five foot off the ground. So they're not ideal, but for what I do, they work. So I've got two, the ability to connect two, two devices. So here we are, I just thought I'd show you this, this new firmware by R1CBU and friends. So I've got an external speaker. You can hear it's working great. Yeah, that's a Roger. GADFAK, name Steve. Okay, Steve, yeah, got you there. Good morning, buddy. Uh, Mark here from Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace, I'm on the eastern slopes of Crystal Palace. And you're five nine plus five dead. So you can see it's five working great. I might try and call him. You've got different controls, but, you know, everything... Everything is the same, but obviously it's different. But you've got volume, audio volume, filters, high, low. You can scroll through the different menus here. Mic select hand mic gain, internal mic gain, minimum level, maximum level, pretty sure that's the scope, spectrum zoom here, spectrum beta, you push that, when you do that, look at the waterfall starts to change, MFK, RF gain, filter, high and low, you turn it, like so, and it changes here, your filter push it again power will actually go up to 10 even on a battery hand mic gain it's going through the same menus if i just push that then you've got this button here you can peak hold general menu here so i've noticed at the moment if you turn off the agc the volume is better Let's go back to volume. There's a volume there. Go and get this at a better angle. Oh, the speaker's come out. A lot better with the speaker, isn't it? A nice signal and uh, making contacts. I saw the matters mark at the uh, at the end of the day, isn't it? My son is uh, two e zero. You can change the step at the top. The tuner still works, and the power TX power here. Let's come away and tune. Weird noise, but it tuned. And this is the, the downside to the... Yeah, Roger, Roger, okay. Uh, well, I've just been having some interest uh, listening to the uh, FT8 uh, interference and uh, using three web SDRs in Europe and uh, triangulating the signal. Very, very interesting. The downside to the AGC, AGC, which will be fixed, is you get that up and down, you know, loud and quiet volume. But if I turn the AGC on, it's on now, and then go back to volume. It's very quiet. You can hardly hear it, so... If I go down quite low volume, turn the AGC off, and this will be fixed. It's off, and now it's a good volume. Very nice audio. Let's change the step. Frequency step there. So this is what can be done with these iGoo. This is pretty much 
part of the reason why I bought it. Because I knew that all this experimentation would happen, it was obvious. Once they'd hacked it, and that the Linux system, you can go into it. Because uh, the actual hardware, I think, is quite good, because it, it pretty much does what it's meant to do. So you can download this, Just put it, I'll put some links in the description, but you download the image, put it onto an SD card with an imager like uh, Bellina Etcher or Rufa, something like that, Win32 is it. Put it in, turn it on, wait about a minute for it to boot, and then it just boots up and you can start using it straight away. I'm not saying I prefer this to the uh, original, but it's an alternative and it's fun. And there's more to... More exper experimentation to happen as well. So thanks for watching, 7-3, all the best.